Double honors to, to the apostles of JMS and honors to brothers and work the most signed truth and its sincerity. So a quick one um inspired off of this uh this art uh, this article here it says organizations uh, from the New York Times, um organizations that track hate groups and violence have increasingly warned about male supremacy terrorism driven by aggrieved male entitlement and a desire to preserve traditional gender roles. Right, so basically this is the talking about this is some bs man you can see what he is trying to do here this is another case of him trying to further his agenda right so that he can rule the people with wrath right um says so uh divide and con divide and rule uh from wikipedia says so divide and rule uh, divide et impera in the latin or says so all divide and conquer right in politics and sociology is is gaining and maintaining power by breaking up larger concentrations of power into pieces that individually have less power than the one implementing the strategy right, which the ones implementing that divide and conquer that like the elites right these 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 um you know the, the elites these different heathen nations right you know they they you know as he was watching the um a video that the uh, Apostle Ram was doing because you, you get all of these di these different posturing where you know on the surface you know to, to, to the common man to the uninitiated it looks like these heathen nations are all you know are fighting up against each other but these times they all have a you know they're all aiming to do that to bring about this new world order right but then the Lord is going to put this spirit um, you know, in 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 uh, you know America's enemies and America's allies to eventually shoot missiles at her, right, right. But basically, the point you know that I'm trying to get here because I'm just getting something else. But the point here is about you know whilst these elites are planning to you know uh, come down on these people, right? He is pushing uh, BS articles like this, right, so that you get you get that division. Right, so you get that division, and he can come down with wrath with ease. Because as people are, you know, whining and complaining about the cops, oh, they, they, they use it all, all of this nonsense. Guess what? He has a, um, has a sword prepared. Right, it's Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So this 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 devil, which devil, which means deceiver, right? Which is ultimately that's what he's done to the whole world. He's deceived the whole world, right? Why? Because the Lord hath given him power to do so, right? Um, you read that in Revelation six and four it says, uh, you know, the, to, um, uh, oh, I forgot our phrase. Bear with me. Right, it's, uh, it's a revelation six and forces and they went out another horse that was red right and power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another and there was given unto him a great sword right, and that horse that was red representative of Esau Edom right um says uh you know and the power to take peace from the earth and he's been given that that great sword this nuclear technology whatever what have you right but even in the way he's pu he's pushed his lies and his philosophies throughout the world, that is taking peace from that, right? Once again, the things like this, you know, this 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 constant pushing of a division between male and female, between this group and that group, right? That is that is increasing. Uh, that is basically taking peace from Earth, okay? Uh, so yeah, divide and conquer. That's what this man's doing. Right, this is Genesis 3, it says, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, right, and this isn't like a slithering serpent, this represents the Esau, right, before, he, you know, before he was Cain, before he was, um, you know, before he was uh, Esau, right, this is represented of Esau as a serpent, right, so it was more subtle than any beast of the field which Yahweh hath made, and he said unto the woman, yea, hath the most I said, he shall not eat of every tree of the of the garden right now the point i wanted that, that it was subtle right you know this man he he's able to do he's able to do so much but would, would say all of the right things but guess what what does the scripture say oh that's not the one i want uh 50 and 21 i think what's up bear with me
This is Psalms 55, 21. I'll start from 20. Where it says he has put forth his hand against such as be at peace with him. He hath broken his covenant, right? And you know this is this man's track record. He is look what he did to the to the um, Native Americans, the Seminole Indians, right? Which is our you know, real real names are you know Gad and Reuben, right? Our, you know part of the Northern Kingdom, right? You know he he here it is he made covenants with them and then he broke every single one of them, right? It says um so yeah he he, he hath put his hand against uh, such as be at peace with them. Right, so now you got all of these people, right? All they're trying to do is just live their life. But Esau's given them these different philosophies, and they're like, "Oh my God, yeah, these philosophies they're good for us." But really, right? He's gonna he's gonna come up with a, uh, uh, you know, with, with that sword against these individuals, right? It says, and really, it's the most side, right? Um, really, it's the most side. Don't know what this. This is um, all in this one same revelation says for that great sword that's that's ultimately talking about the ICBM nuclear missile, right? S Psalm seventeen thirteen, right? It says, Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, right? So basically, uh, uh, you know, the, these Edomites, they're the sword of Yahweh Shem Shai. Right, so all all they can do is follow instructions. You read that in the um in the apocrypha, it says um, was it so up eight? No, let me just let me just search for it. Um, oh, thing. Obey his will. Yeah, yeah, how day it was? Yeah, Sirach eighteen and three. It says um, yeah, Sirach eighteen and three. Who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. For he is the king of all, and by his power divide holy things among them from profane. Okay, so the Most High is the one who is in a, uh, you know, in absolute power, right? There ain't no, you know, little sect of of of, of angels, right? That got kicked out of heaven, right? And then you know, started their own little realm, you know, you know, talking for, sh you know, taking the piss out of that whole hell concept and Satan, right? But um. As in, like the uh, as in, like the man with the red pitchfork in hell. Now they're saying you do have a spiritual demon saying, but guess what? He he follows orders. This is what these scriptures are saying. He follows orders, man. Right? He ain't no. They want to know. You know. <laughs> yeah, man. It goes in. You just, when you think about certain of these things, you just like, man, these these men are full of shite. Right? So Proverbs twenty twenty four says, "Man's going of the Lord. How can a man understand his own way?" I actually wasn't the one I was looking for. I was looking for Proverbs twenty one and one it says the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh, as a river of water he turneth it whithersoever he will. Right. So all these all these different elites can do ultimately is follow uh, their orders because ultimately who's the one bringing about this destruction? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right. That's why it's been prophesied already. Right. And you read. Uh, uh, Psalm fifty five eleven, it says, uh, "The Most High's uh, words cannot return unto him void." Right? It says Daniel twelve and one. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to the same time. Right? And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Right? So this time that we're coming up into is going to be a time of, of of trouble like never before, right? And this has been prophesied. So who's ultimately bringing this? Ultimately, it's Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? It's Amos three and six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people will not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and Yahweh hath not done it? Right? So it's Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Who brings about all of these calamities? I'm just gonna grab one more just to compound the point. Um, no, seventeen and seven. Isaiah forty five and seven says, "I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things." Okay. 
because of this destruction that this is the most size destruction despite the fact that he's using Esau to do it right and this is just another one of those ways where Esau thinks that he is um you know being a master manipulator manipulating the people to do what he wants to because once again this is just about divide and conquer man because at the end of the day the scriptures uh you know talk about you know uh, maintaining gender gender roles right man ain't supposed to be all out here all acting all effeminate and, and, and all of that crap right you know a man's supposed to be the head of the household according to scriptures you read that in first corinthians the 11th chapter Right, um, what was I going to grab? I'll grab this, Isaiah 47. And once come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Right, and that dust there, convert, uh, com uh, that dust there um, represents confusion. Right, and, and that Babylon, Babel, you read that, uh, was it Genesis, the 11th chapter. Right, it speaks about the Tower of Babel. Right, which Babel means uh, confusion, like when someone is bubbling. Right, and then you got a Babylon, Babylon, which is the land of confusion, right? And this is Virgin Door because that place in America has ultimately never been touched. That's what I was talking about there, right? And that is that is the that is the place of confusion, and that is that where that beacon of confusion is is in the world, right? And this here, this is an example of confusion, right? Because the thing is, he's the one that will push all of these agendas into people's minds right he's the one that is the driver behind all of this right it says um there is no throne o daughter of the chaldeans for thou shalt be no more called tender and delicate right uh yeah and i read all of that um so yeah you know as always lords all that was edify man you know, they, 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 this, they, I mean, the, the only solution, man, is just, we just have to, we just have to get the hell out of this kingdom, man. We can't we just continue in a world, you know, where, you know, he, he just, just being a man, he's trying to, trying to get at you, man, right? But um, hey, just being an Israelite, he's trying to get at you, man. So even on that, you know, or especially on that alone, you know, this man's got to go. Right, um, but yeah, as always, Lord's what I was edifying. Till next time, I say, Shalom.